beaver populations have dwindled throughout North America over the last 100 years. And now a new study says strategically returning them to our ecosystems could benefit humans and Mother Nature. Researchers say ponds created by beaver dams can help increase the amount of fresh water, boost biodiversity, contain wildfires, and improve water quality. As comes as the Earth continues to suffer from what the United Nations has called a climate emergency. Kate Maher joins us now. She is a professor of Earth System Sciences and a senior fellow at the Woods Institute for the Environment. That's at Stanford University. She's also the senior author for this study. So, Kate, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what a strategic return of beavers could look like and why exactly have beaver populations declined just this dramatically over the years. Yeah, so a strategic introduction of beavers means understanding both what they need from a habitat perspective as well as the, how they interact with human infrastructure. And so what we saw in our study is that beavers are, as we know, incredibly efficient ecosystem engineers. They build their ponds and that increases groundwater storage and also enables ecosystems to flourish. So we see more plants, more vegetation, more space for wildlife. But that can also create nuisance flooding. And when those ponds and, and flooded areas interact with, with infrastructure, such as a canal that might be used for irrigation, um, they can create challenges. And so we really wanted to be able to understand what's controlling their ability to, to make large ponds and small ponds and to thrive in different ecosystems and different types of habitats. Yeah, I mean, those ponds can, as you say, uh, be a real nuisance for, for many of the humans that are around them. But they can also, uh, you know, do a lot to benefit the environment. And it's fascinating to see them come together. They're almost like nature's engineers in the way that they construct these ponds. Can you talk a little bit about the benefits of them? Sure. Yeah, I tend to think of beavers as almost being like speed bumps for a river system. So as they start to build their dams and, and ecosystem engine, take on their ecosystem engineering, we see that water flows slow down and other things that, that we tend to call ecosystem services also tend to improve. And so one thing we see is greener vegetation and more groundwater that also enables plants to survive periods of drought. And increasingly, studies are showing that these green zones created by beavers can also act as fire suppression corridors. So they might actually even be able to help reduce the spread of wildfires by creating these lush green zones within river corridors. I mean, Kate, I, I want to go back and ask you again, though, why, why can you talk more about why they have declined so dramatically over the years, though, despite the benefits that they do provide? Yeah, so initially they were heavily hunted for the fur trade, and that really started um, many, many years ago. And then in many cases, because of the nuisance flooding and, and other interactions with humans, mm -hmm. they were also oh, trapped okay. and removed from many different ecosystems. And so now they seem to be coming back and you know thriving and flourishing. And there's also efforts underway, underway to systematically relocate them to places where we think they can, can benefit the river corridor. So uh, how do you so weigh coming the, back? They, uh, that is good news. Uh, how do you weigh the trade-offs, though, between the damage they cause and the benefits that they also bring? Yeah, you know, I think that there's a lot of there's a lot of um, methods out there to estimate whether beavers can live in a certain habitat. And I think really thinking about local conditions and whether there are sufficient, whether there's sufficient forage, whether there's a sufficient space for them to build their dams, whether the impacts from their flooding will um, cause cause problems for other types of infrastructure is really important. And so um, I think I think that's the key piece is recognizing that they seem to be able to thrive in a lot of different environments and really bringing them back into places where they can have the most benefit, whether it's for biodiversity, um, providing water storage, or um, even, even collaborating in fire suppression, which I think is an interesting aspect mm. of what beavers can accomplish. And they're just very cute uh, after all that, too. Uh, Kate Maher, <laughs> thank are. you so much for your time. We appreciate it.